Let's look at these two quadratic functions. Let's talk a little bit about what we can learn by looking at the function expression and then what we can learn about the function by analyzing its vertex. Remember, the vertex is the turning point of the parabola that's associated with the quadratic function. Remember, when the coefficient of the squared term is positive, that's a parabola that opens up. So that means it's going to have a shape like this, and the vertex is going to be that low spot. The vertex is going to be the turning point. So if we think about that point, that's going to have an xy ordered pair value. And isn't that the point where the y value is the lowest? Because on either side, the y value is higher. So that's the low point. So when the coefficient of the squared term is positive, the vertex is where the minimum function value occurs. And the x there is what makes the minimum function value. Well, if the coefficient of the squared term is negative, then that's the reverse. And this xy point at the vertex, when the parabola opens downward, this is the max function point. And the maximum y value would occur there at the vertex. See, every y value, every function value is below that one. So the maximum function value takes place at the vertex when the coefficient of the squared term is negative. If we want to find then that minimum function value or the maximum function value, we can apply that same technique that we used before to find the vertex. Remember the x value the x value of the vertex is found by taking minus b over 2a. So in this case, that would be minus negative 8 over 2 times 2. Well, minus negative 8 is positive 8. That's 8 over 2 times 2 is 4. 8 over 4 is 2. So for this particular parabola, the x value of the vertex the x value where the minimum function value occurs would be 2. And the way we find that function value then is to take the x value and evaluate the function at that value for x. So in this case, that would be 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2. 8 and 2 is 10. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. So this quadratic function's minimum function value would be negative 6, and it occurs where x is 2. That's the vertex. And when the coefficient of the square term is positive, the vertex has the minimum function value. The function value, remember, is always the y value. So the minimum function value was negative 6, and it occurred when the x value was 2. In this instance, the vertex will have the maximum function value. So again, let's find the vertex. We find the x part of the vertex by, make, by taking negative b over 2a, which in this case would be negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. Negative 4 over negative 2, which ends up also being 2. That was interesting, especially since I just made those two problems up. I somehow hit upon the same x value for the vertex. So here, the x value of the vertex, which in this case the vertex is where the maximum function value is, would be 2. So we find f at 2 for this function, so we can see what the y value is, what the function's value is at that vertex. So that would be negative 1 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 5. 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Plus 4 times 2 is 8 minus 5. 
Negative 4 plus 8 is 4, and 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So the vertex of this parabola is at the point 2, negative 1. So that means that this quadratic function's maximum value is negative 1, because all of the other parts of the curve are below that point, which means their y values will be below that point, will be less than that negative 1 value. So if we have a quadratic function, we can find the minimum value of it if its parabola opens up, positive coefficient of the squared term. We can find the maximum value of that parabola, the maximum value of that quadratic function when the parabola opens down, which is caused by the negative coefficient for the squared term. This idea of the vertex being the maximum or minimum point of the function is going to be valuable when we work applied problems related to quadratic functions. And there are several videos following this one that involve that exact kind of problem.